Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading A Little Spot in a World of Words, a story about the importance of reading, written and illustrated by Diane Elber. Diane dedicates this book to her children, Ryan and Anna, who always ask, why do I have to read so much? Hi, my name is Learning Spot. And I'm going to show you why learning to read is so important. What did he say his name was? Learning Spot. It's on his name tag. You read my name tag? That makes me so happy. There are so many things that require reading. Our world is full of words. Words in written form are another way to communicate with each other. And we use words a lot. We are having a sale. Be kind. Important notice. You're invited to a party. Hi, how are you? Just to let you know, dear grandma. Words can even help you understand what you are watching. Even if you don't have sound. By reading subtitles, you can watch your favorite video that's in a different language. You will probably see words everywhere you go. Even the sky can have words. Billboard, bus, bench, directory. Reading is fun. A lot of games and puzzles have words too. Reading the instructions to a game teaches you how to play it. When you are out and about, you will see words all around you. Reading signs will help you get to where you are going, so you don't get lost and stay safe. People love to communicate through writing emails, text messages, and letters in the mail. You could read that you've been invited to a party in three different ways. There are even words in cooking. Reading recipes can help you make the most delicious cookies. Reading packaging labels will help you get sugary cookies instead of salty ones. Reading the ingredient list will help you know what you are eating. Words can be on the outside of buildings. Reading building signs will help you find the place you want to go. You wouldn't want to go to a pizza place for a haircut. Words can be inside the building too. Reading the menu will help you find out what you want to eat. You can find words in math, too. You need to be able to read instructions and word problems. Anna has ten cats and gets three more. How many cats does Anna have? I would have thirteen cats. That would be amazing. Even science has words. Science involves a lot of research and instruction to do a science experiment. The instructions say to add some vinegar. When you know how to read, you can pretty much learn anything. Did you know hummingbirds can't fly backward? This book shows you how to take care of cats. I saved the best for last. Reading has the power to let your imagination run wild. You can go anywhere or do anything without leaving your home. Anytime you see words around you, try and read them. The more you practice reading, the better you will get. See you next time to learn something new. Thank you so much for joining me today. Storytime with Lynn. Reading A Little Spot in a World of Words. A story about the importance of reading. Written and illustrated by Diane Albert.